Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be a doing a real versus fake and comparing two palettes. So I have the real ABH Modern Modern Renaissance and a fake ABH Modern Renaissance. Um, so first of all, we'll start off by I'm just gonna do like a comparison between the pack the palettes themselves. Um, so the ABH is soft touch packaging, um, the lettering is embossed in, and the, um, and this is, yeah, and this is about centered, and then the emblem down here looks like this. It doesn't have their circle logo, it just has this. This is also embossed, and this is like a rose gold. Yeah, and it's down here at the bottom, where this one is paper packaging, not embossed. This is at the top. This is near the middle, um, and it has the circle logo, and it's more. Of, this is more of like a gold gold, whereas the real one's a rose gold. Um, looking at the back. For one, this one, it's a sticker, and this one, it's made on the fake, it's made on the palette, but literally, they are the exact same. The spacing's a little bit different on the fake, and like font sizes, but it says the ingredients for the real palette, not what's actually in here. Um, so then upon opening real one um, you see that it's like a shiny black has a mirror and then there's another rose gold where it says Anastasia Beverly Hills there are the shades and the shade names are also in like a rosy gold and then they have the brush at the bottom and this is a mix of matte and shimmer shades and then the fake one, it's matte on the inside. The logo's in the fold, not under the mirror. The mirror's bigger on this one. Well, maybe not bigger, but it's far, okay, it's not bigger, but it's further down. All of these are shimmer shades, and there is a brush. Now, the brush from the real palette on the blender side, it's all black. And on this side, it's not super flat, but it has brown on the tip and a little bit of white. And then the logo looks like it's like a um, gray. And the ribbon holding it in is longer and thinner than on the fake palette. And inside the little hole on the real palette, it's black in here, and it's the same black as the outside, whereas this one, um, it's partially white and then partially pink. And you can see the where the cardboard's glued together and everything. But then this one, on the fake one, the blender side is like a dual fiber sort of look, not all black. The other end is a flat shader, and it's dual fiber, but it doesn't have the brown on the top, and it's a lot thinner. And this one, um, the middle part's shorter. It has the circle logo. It's also like a gray, but the um, barrels for the brush are a lot longer on the fake one than they are on the real one. Okay, so like I said, the fake one, these shades are all shimmer shades. There are no true matte shades. There are some that are more like a sheen, but they all have shimmer to them. Um, so I actually have not at all used the real one yet. Um, but I'm going to do some swatches. So this is Tempera in the actual palette and it's like a 
it's like a satin finish um, bone color where in the fake palette it is like a glittery white and this one's more like a bone color whereas the fake one's a white um, and the real one golden ochre is like a camel brown and it's a matte shade but in the fake one it's like a champagne shimmer it like has like a yeah like a yellowy like almost like a yellow like a yellow champagne mix so so far colors are not at all um, the same and Vermeer in the real palette is like a true champagne shimmer shade where in the fake it's like a white I mean they look very similar on camera I won't lie but in person this is more like a foiled whereas this one's more like a glitter and like this one in person the fake one in person looks more white it looks a lot like um tempera when swatched at least in person um the Bu Bu buon fresco don't know how to pronounce it in the real palette is like a lavender and it's a matte shade like a matte lavender and in the fake it's like a shimmery pink so far a lot of the and it's also very similar to the way golden ochre swatch so I feel like a lot of the colors they in the pans they look very different but they don't pref at least they don't swatch very different we'll have to see when we do a comparison on the eyes so then antique bronze in the real palette is like a foiled like dark copper and in the fake it's like a rose gold almost so the first one I swatch is always the real one so they're very different so like this the fake one looks like a rose gold and not at all like a bronze like I know that it's gold so I guess it's probably like a bronze color when I said a deep copper it's a it's a bronze love letter is like a matte um, cranberry shade and the real palette in the fake it is like a Barbie doll pink uh, shimmer and they all of the ones in the fake palette have glitter they're not like a foiled where like the ABH one the real ABH it's more like a foiled shadow where the fake one it's more of a glitter shadow and so for the last one on the top row of the ABH palette we have a Cypress Umber and it's like a deep chocolate matte brown um, and then in the fake it's like a light gold shimmer I feel like the only like so far there's they, none of them have really been like the same color so second row of the real ABH um, so we have raw sienna which is like a deeper like camely brown and then in the fake palette it's like a gold shimmer it swatches very similar to antique bronze All right so then in the real palette we have burnt orange which is like an orangey brown and then the fake palette we have like a 
another like goldish champagne. It's swatching very similar to I think golden ochre. Again, none of the colors have been like uh, I think Vermeer was the one where they like, on camera they looked very similar, but then really in person they don't look the same. Um, and then Primavera in the real palette is like a foiled gold and in the fake palette it's like a shimmery white so not even remotely the same and then for red ochre in the real palette it's like a reddish brown in the fake palette it's like a Barbie pink shimmer. A lot of the shades are swatching very similar to each other in the fake palette, which I'm thinking is gonna make me trying to create a look very difficult. So for Venetian Red in the real palette, We have a slightly um, sheeny pink red color and in the fake palette we have another Barbie doll pink. I think that looks the exact same as Love Letter. Yeah. So Venetian red is like barely darker than actually no. No. Venetian Red and Love Letter from the Fake Palette are the exact same color. So from the Real Palette, we have Warm Taupe, which is as it says, a taupey brown. In the Fake Palette, it's like a sh golden champagne. It literally looks the exact same as Golden Ochre. Yep the same as Golden Oak. They even look the same in the pan and everything. And finally we have the orangey shade and the real palette, Real Gar. Um, and to me this is more of a burnt orange than burnt oranges. Burnt, to me burnt orange in this palette is more brown where this one's really like a burnt orange. And then in the fake palette we have like a shimmery coral. Which, like, that's the most diverse color. Like, there's no other color like that one in there, but, again, not even close to the real one. So now, my lids are primed and everything. I'm going to try and create the same look using the real palette and the fake palette. So I've already primed my lids. Um... And I'm just going to start by going in with the shade Warm Taupe from the Real Palette. And I'm actually using the brush from the palette and I'm just going to buff this into my crease as a transition shade. And this side is the real one, this side will be the fake one. Um, I am noticing there's quite a bit of like kick up in my palette. Uh, nothing too bad because the shadows are performing, so. Alright, so now that I have that, I will say that this brush is kind of scratchy on my eye but it's not the end of the world so since that's like a cool tone I'm gonna take a little bit of bone bone fresco which is like that lavender -y color and diffuse the edge of that of the shadow I just put down with that
Alright, so then I'm going to go in to Raw Sienna and focus this down a little lower and onto my lid. Yep, the real brush brush is very scratchy. Um, and then I'm going to take the other end of this brush and I think actually first I'm going to add a little bit of love letter which is the matte like berry shade I'm going to add that to my outer corner So this brush from the Real Palette is shedding on me. Alright, so now I'm going to go in to the shade Primavera, which is the gold shade on the bottom. I'm just going to pack this on my lid. And so that is the finished look with that eye. I'm going to use the brush in the other palette, since I used the brush on the palette in that one. Um, I'm going to start out with warm taupe, just like I did in the other one. And you can't even see it. And I'm going to go into on Frisco and blend out the edge which again you cannot see okay now I'm going to add a little bit of raw sienna in my crease and onto my lid I will say though that this brush feels nicer on the eyes than the actual brush does. But these colors, again, you like cannot see anything. Then I'm going to add Venetian Red on my outer corner. Just kidding. I added love letter. I mean, it really doesn't matter because they're the same color. I added love letter on my outer corner. It's just shimmery, so. Okay, I added love letter. And since I didn't want the shadow on the other side, I'm not going to on this side. And I'm going in with Primavera from the fake palette. Okay, so here's the look with the real palette. Here's the look with the fake palette. You really can't even hardly see anything on this side. So literally looking in the camera, the only thing, I mean, I can see the pink color and I can tell there's like a shimmery shade on the inside, but literally my whole brow and everything, like, uh, let me add tempera as a brow bone highlight, and I'll do. So see, it's a nice brow bone highlight from the fake one. Whereas on the real one, 
it's like a matte color and you can't really see it as a brow bone highlight but I feel like Vermeer will be a good oh yeah Vermeer I need to try adding a little bit of Vermeer although in the fake palette they're like the same thing yeah I mean those the really light shades are good like highlight shades I'm going to add a little Vermeer in my inner corner. So, final verdict. Um, definitely, this one gives, the real one gives way better color payoff um, and the shades you have both matte and shimmery shades which is what you want um, but I will have to say that the brush in the fake one feels so much better so if you look like right there on my cheek those little like lines are brush hairs from the brush that's in the real palette um, but yeah, this as far as usage, but I wouldn't use the brush in here. I do like the brush better in this one. Um, but I would say save your money. Don't buy the fake one. It's not worth it. Um, I did buy this when they had it on sale for half off. So I didn't, I paid like 20 something dollars for it instead of the normal, I think like 50 maybe so I did get a discount on this um but even so if you were thinking about buying a fake don't because this is not worth it um I know people say that there's a wet and wild wet and wild dupe for this palette and I have the palette that is said to be a dupe so maybe at some point I'll test them side by side and see if it's actually a dupe and if I can create the same look but yeah that is everything for this video thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.